Vice Squad or Universal Legends. My name is Daniel, and as you can see from the title, I wanted to make a little laser drone. And if you probably noticed, but since we're in the what is it called again? Oh yeah, the land vehicle designer. I wanted it to be under 2,000 volume because I didn't want it to be too overpowered. Because at this point, lasers can be really overpowered. I also set it to a pretty low, what's it called, cruising altitude. Because, once again, setting it too high can be very dangerous for the enemy and not really putting yourself at risk. But I just wanted to go with kind of like a satellite design, like one you'd see normally. And I just wanted it to be a kind of mini drone. Because, you know, sometimes you need those in life. Just things that you build for fun, not for practicality, like this thing, or most of my builds. Like, no joke, most of my builds are not built for practicality, they are built for fun, because I like building in this game. And right there, I messed it up, and had to quickly fix it, but you probably noticed that this video is only 8 minutes long. I think it's exact, well not exactly, but just under 8, eight minutes when you get rid of the intro and outro, but, you know. So for this craft, I went with a engine that had 6,000 power. I believe that was what it was, and it was all carburetors, so no injectors there, but as you can see, I also made it pretty large, so if I was using injectors, that'd be quite, quite interesting, and I just wanted to get it mirrored up and going here. Normally, you probably wouldn't send the exhaust gases going through, like, both sides, like, up and down, Well, you might on some craft, so that way, if one section breaks, an entire side isn't broken, but, you know, normally, I don't do this, but, so this is, like, a first for me going and while well, thinking about it right now let me know how you feel about these style of videos because I haven't gotten really any feedback about them and I want to know how you guys feel if you want me to stop if I should keep going with them or you could give me suggestions on what I should build like who knows actually maybe I could do a guide on like how to make mechs or how Lathrix made those drones where they're always pointing at the enemy, I could possibly do like a short five minute guide on how to do that. I'd have to learn it, but I could do it if you guys asked for it. Now, for the geese craft, I made them extremely thin in armor because they're drones. I think they're just under 20,000 each resource each, which is a lot for a drone, but also these things, you can get like five of them for 100,000 resources and they'll do a pretty decent job as long as you're not going up against anything that can like insta kill any air like aircraft because I didn't even put shields on these guys but I will do that more than likely since these have a lot of extra engine power like after you, they get going you could probably set up some strength three shields on both sides like the front and back maybe on the sides as well the only problem would be finding out where to put them because there's like no space at all so what you'd probably have to do is put like two, when you see this area where I put the AI and everything, you'd probably have to put like two in front, in the front part of the area, two in the back part, and then have them going separate azimuths and elevations, so that way it makes a dome still, it's just not directly on one side. So you kind of get like a few small gaps in the corners. So it's not going to be as secure, but you know, it's going to work. Now... What I didn't show in this build was I did make the barrel longer than it is now because right now it has a 0 0.5 degree in accuracy. Yeah, not the best. I mean, it still does its job. It's just, yeah, that thing is new. It's, it will fire around everywhere. It was, I believe at about this point, I started to realize, oh yeah, this is a satellite. We should probably start getting it in the air. But first, I wanted to set up the laser so I could color and stuff like that, which I ended up going for, like, I believe, like, a really light babyish blue style. So, yeah. And I believe unedited build video was 30 minutes long, but since I feel like you guys could appreciate these more since you get more out of less time, I think it's a good style of build. Now, like I said, I went for kind of satellite style build where I just extended outwards. I didn't go too far out because if I went too far out, it just wouldn't look right. It'd start being really, just really unstable, I would assume. 
Now, first, of course, we got to get some resources in here because these guys, I do want these guys to be able to ferry resources and, oh, heaven forbid, repair themselves. And, oh, yeah, and here I was going for the first basic design of how I wanted them to correct the roll, which took me a good while. Very good while. But besides that, this is where one of the instances where I remembered, oh, yeah, if you attach a PID directly to an AI, you get enhanced features. And as you can see here, with really no change, I have this craft that's extremely stable. Just perfectly stable. As long as you get the thrusters in the right spot, you can make them extremely stable. And that was a glitch in the, where it would reset everything except where you have it selected. Lathrix talked about that glitch in the past. I told, I commented I had that glitch in how I normally fix it is just change it to 0 0.1 and then set it back to 0 wherever I need it to be, and that generally fixes it. Now here, I remembered something. I have no detection system because I was wondering, why didn't the drone fly, like, it just flew right below us. Why didn't we shoot? That was a problem, obviously, but that wasn't the biggest problem. The biggest problem on why it didn't shoot was, well, just simply because it didn't have a weapon controller. I just forgot to put it for some reason. I do end up reeling, realizing this, but at first I, you know, got to test out why the AI wasn't working, and got terrified for a second because I thought the craft was about to flip over. But you know, sadly that didn't happen. And well, I decided to go with range finders because this is one of the rare times you can actually use, like the five meter. Well. Not rare times, but this is one of the rare times I actually use the five meter range finders. Now, the nine meter might actually look better, but you know, don't want to set it up. And right here, that's when I realized I didn't have it set up. So, what I end up doing is I end up going in, adding the AI detection system, and off camera, I end up making the laser more powerful by getting rid of the Q switches, making it a continuous beam that just has. A good amount of armor pierce and continuous damage but like i said i don't I do not have that footage because i thought i was recording i wasn't accidents happen and i believe we are coming up on a close here so let me just check because i don't want to mess up the footage but i'm just going to keep scrolling while i talk over this i set up the ai go in and i think i believe this is like the start of when i start filling it in with the, all the different parts and everything that I have set up but here I was like you know what okay I got it all set up how I want it to be got everything together got all the beams and AP right where I want it and it basically gets shot down by the King Cobra where I start hoping it dive bombs into it but well that's it for this episode thank you all for watching like the video if you liked it dislike the video if you disliked it subscribe to the channel it works but now it's dive bombing and as always check out the description below and thank you so much for watching